Candlesticks and Rick's View. It's Friday. I hope everyone has a terrific weekend. Let's take a look at what the market has done uh, here recently. We've put in a low, a higher low, and now a higher low. We've put in a high and a, high, a higher high, and right now we're kind of in the middle of a bit of consolidation, sort of in the middle of these uh, these two trend lines right here, this long one uh, coming down and then the bottom one coming up, putting in a, in a nice little uh, contraction uh, contraction zone where where price, uh, if it continues to bounce off uh, the, this, this higher trend line and bounce off the lower trend line, it's going to put us in this tight range contraction uh, triangle scenario. More times than not, when we see a breakout of one way or another, that's the way it's usually going to go, at least for a few days. Makes for good trading, whether it is up or whether it's down. The main thing is that we have a direction. If we look at the lower trend line and then look at the upper trend line, you can see that if we break out of this area, we could very possibly run up to this upper trend line where we want to be aware of any possible candlestick sell signals such as we've gotten here and here. If we do break through here that would take take care of the 50 simple then the likely target would be the 200 simple in that area. That's for the bull side. For the bear side if we break down through this area then we're probably looking at something around the 112 area for a test. After that well, we'll definitely revisit that if that happens. Yesterday, the market closed with a little inverted hammer right here on the T-line, the, the SPY that is. Closed with a little inverted hammer right here on the T-line, trading above the 20-day simple. For the most part, this is a neutral position here. We need to see what today's going to do. And for the bulls, we would really like to see trading in the wick area or above. Of course, if price comes back down and then puts a reversal signal down in this area, then we might look for it to come back up here and then start breaking out. There's still plenty of room for the SPY to chop around here before it actually gives us a good direction. So when price, if price, comes back to this lower trend line, this is where we want to watch for basically two different types of candles. One candle that may suggest it's holding up here, support, bull stepping in, or one candle being that the bears are driving it below looking for a lower close. As we move up, or if we move up to this upper, upper trend line, there are two types of candles we want to look for. One candle might be bullish, closing up through this line. The other candle might be Maybe we moved up during the day, but we're closing negative, giving us a bearish candle, possible reversal candle. Bottom line, right in this area is a chop zone. I've discovered that most traders have trouble trading in a chop zone. It's very hard to trade. I refer to this as, as uh, well, the market has to eat too. And this is where the market tends to make a lot of its money, is in this chop area. So be a little cautious, maybe a little patient, wait for a breakout or a breakdown. That would give us a definite trend one way or another, at least for a few days. Uh, let's see, real quick, uh, here's a trade trade that uh, we are currently in. We were in it earlier this week. We sold it, took a little profits, and we've bought it back. Soda, S-O-D-A. Looks like Soda came up with a nice bullish engulf yesterday after bouncing off the T-line. Nice bottom right here. We had bought it back in here uh, looking at this double bottom. It came above the T-line. Our momentum indicator suggesting a higher move right now. Price action is confirming that higher move. So as long as the price action is working in our favor and holding over the T-line without a sell signal, we are currently looking for the next hurdle or target to be about the 200 simple or the 34 exponential right there. If we break through this area then the next likely upside could be the 50 day simple up around the 57 mark. Uh, we probably ought to put a little line right here. Move that up. 
we do certainly want to watch the $50, 20 cent area. So as we come up through the 50 and the 34, watch this. This could be a little bit of a head knocker, could push price down for some slight consolidation before it runs back up. Another stock that we are still in, GTIV. GTIV closed right at the T-line yesterday. We're, st we're still happy with it. We'll see how it acts today. Um, we have a low, a higher low, a higher low. We have a high and a high. It's been basing out in a pretty tight little range right here. Closed up over the T-line. Got a little weak yesterday, but the market got a little weak yesterday. If this works out, we're looking at about a 25% gain up to the 34 exponential. Could be 50% or more up to the 50, depending on exactly where one enters it and where one uh, closes it. Our entry is currently $7.46. Whoops, let's do that again. Yeah, $7.46 is where our entry currently is, and we're looking pretty good on it so far. One more I'd like to point out, MWW. This was pointed out by one of the members in our trading room. We are still holding this. Our entry is $8.30. It's still trading within the trading box. This is a nice little downtrend. Put in a little bottom. Came up very nice. Bounced right off the 34 exponential moving average. This is a pinball setup, by the way bounced off the 34 exponential moving average and has pulled back and now consolidating inside our buy box above the 20-day simple. We want to watch this one. We do not want this to start moving below uh, this doji right here. If it does, it could come back and retest this level. What we really want is to see the buyers come in, step it out of the box, and run it right up. We'll see what happens today. We'll decide whether we're going to hold it later today. And with that, I hope to see everybody in the live trading room. It is currently open. And if I don't, please have a nice, safe weekend. We'll see you Monday.